Hello children welcome you all to 10th standard english class today i'll be continuing the poem the stolen boat written by william wordsworth in the previous class i had told you that william wordsworth had been for walk on a summer evening and he was very much pleased by the beauty of the nature and the craggy ridge on the other side of the lake a little boat was tied to a willow tree within a rocky cave and he unloosened her chain and pushed from the shore and it was an act of stealth but he was very eager to reach the other side of the lake now i'll be continuing from line 14 as i recite please follow in your text upon the summit of a craggy ridge the horizon's utmost boundary far above was nothing but the stars and the gray sky she was an elfin pinnace lustily i dipped my oars into the silent lake and as i rose upon the stroke my boat went heaving through the water like a swan when from behind that crag is steep still then the horizon's bound a huge peak black and huge as if with voluntary power instinct upreared his head i struck and struck again and growing still in stature the grim shape towered up between me and the stars and still for so it seemed with purpose of its own and measured motion like a living thing strode after me with trembling oars i turned and through the silent water stole my way back to the covert of the willow tree there in a mooring place i left my bark difficult words which we come across in this stanza first one lustily which means with great happiness second oars long poles with a flat ends which are used for rowing a boat third one heaving rising up stature height strode walked with a long steps last one covert hidden place poet says that as he rode the boat he could only see the craggy ridge far away there was nothing except the stars and the gray sky he kept his path straight concentrating only on the craggy ridge and kept rowing the boat in the water of the lake the poet calls his boat an elfin pinnace and compares it to a swan here elfin pinnace means a small fairy like a boat she is an elfin pinnace note this children underline it in your textbook here elfin pinnace is a metaphor but we, when we take the entire sentence she is an elfin pinnace it is personification here she refers to the boat which the poet is rowing and given a life as a human being he says that he dipped his oars into a silent lake and kept rowing the poet was very proud of his skill of rowing the boat and compares the movement of the boat to that of the movement of a swan by using the word like in line 20 so which figure of speech is this children yes simile went weaving through the water like a swan underline and make a note in your textbook he continued to row until the craggy steep appeared to grow larger in size it is his imagination there is only one peak another peak comes in his mind in his imagination out of fear the poet who was moving the boat towards the craggy ridge felt that it was a boundary but suddenly loomed up as a huge and a black peak 
having the life of its own. He felt that it was just like a monster who was trying to come and attack him. He continued to row, but this looming mountain seemed to stand be between him and the stars. It seemed to the poet as if the mountain was a living creature following him with the regular steps, with some fixed purpose of its own. With the oars trembling in his hand, he changed his mind and moved on silently over calm surface of the lake back to the shelter of the willow tree. Assignment of the day First one, how many peaks are mentioned in the poem? Second, she was an elfin pinnace. Identify the figure of speech. I'll continue the last part of the poem in the next class, children. Thank you.